all right what is going on youtube it is your boy j rose welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to overclock your central processing unit aka your cpu um i've seen a lot of videos out there kind of talking about how to overclock your cpu but there isn't really one that shows you and like what software to use and stuff like that at least for me it was hard for me to find a video because i just recently switched over to pc gaming not too long ago i still have my consoles and i still game on them every now and then but when i switched over to pc gaming i was like you know i always heard people talk about overclocking your cpu and your gpu and i was like what is that how do you do that so basically that's what i'm gonna be showing you how to do in this video um i'll probably will show how i will show you how to overclock your gpu in a separate video but in this video i'm just going to show you how to overclock your cpu so let's go ahead and jump into it um, so first off what you want to do is you want to go to the link that I have in the description box and this is only going to be for AMD processors it's not going to be for Intel processors so I do apologize if you have like an i7 processing unit um, it will not work for this this software will not work for that there's other software out there I'll probably do a separate video on Intel processors here in the future or something let me know in the comment section if you would like to see one on Intel but this is going to be for AMD processors only so what you want to do is you want to go to that link in the description box um, you'll come to a page like this um, what you want to do is just go ahead and click download now it'll download the software that you'll need to overclock your CPU and also if you do have some more questions you can also read them the about us the support tab and all that um, they have many different tabs and articles that you could read if you want to learn more about overclocking your CPU the benefits the dangers all of that go ahead and you know go ahead and feel free to just browse and read their articles um, but then once you got this downloaded you want to go to, you're gonna go to the other link that I have in the description box you're gonna download this software it's called core temp and what this software is gonna allow you to do is be able to read the temperatures that your CPU is actually at so I mean if you don't want you don't want your um, CPU to overheat and then get damaged and maybe damage your motherboard and other things so that's why it's important to have this so that way you can always monitor the temperature make sure it's not overheating or maybe if you need to get some more fans or get a bigger power supply and stuff like that so that's why it's important to have this software and then also the other software as well so once you got those two downloaded you want to go ahead and open up AMD overdrive go ahead and run it as administrator and it'll give you AMD overdrive warning you can read through it um, but it's basically just saying you're going to be overclocking your CPU outside of the manufacturing specifications so you guys probably already know that if you don't that's what it's saying but once you get done reading that go ahead and click OK and now my CPU is actually at 3 is, is stock at 3.8 gigahertz um, I've overclocked it to 4.2 gigahertz before um, so like I said I guess it really depends on what you want to overclock it at or what you or how many gigahertz you want to overclock it to I've seen some people overclock it to like six gigahertz but keep in mind you do have to have like a liquid cooling system in there or some a, a better cooling system in there just to keep it cool um, but I'm gonna show you this is gonna be like to show you how to do a basic overclock if you're like me and you have like maybe a four point gigahertz CPU and you want to overclock it's like 4.3 or something 4.5 maybe then this is for you but if you're trying to really go above and beyond then I wouldn't recommend doing this I wouldn't recommend doing recommend doing it unless you have a better cooling system and you know what you're doing so let's go ahead and jump into it what you want to do is you want to go to clock slash voltage and go ahead and click turbo core control and you want to disable enable turbo concord or disable <laughs> enable turbo core that was kind of weird to say but you want to disable it uncheck that box click ok and right now you can see it shows our speed is at 3.8 or 3.8 megahertz and it shows my current speed and my target speed so the more you adjust this multiplier right here the more your your um, target speed and your current speed will adjust as well so let's, add, let's say mine was at 3.8 I want to adjust it to say 4. Point mega or 4.0 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and go put it at 4. And then right here, you're going to want more voltage the higher you move that multiplier bar up. But keep in mind you don't want to go too high. See, if you go to like 1.32, see how it gets real wet or gets real red 
and as you go higher it gets even darker red so try to stay out of that zone now this is what really will cause damage is the voltage meter the voltage meter more than this so mine was like at 1.28 or something I'll probably put it like at 1.1.30 1 and then that's that's basically about it that's how you do a basic overclock you can also if you have a, other um, bars too you can also raise them just a tad bit like this one I'll probably raise to like 1.16 or something and then go ahead and click apply and it'll just tell you it'll give you that warning box again go ahead and click OK and so you can see now I'm my current speed is actually a little bit above 4 gigahertz um, it says my it says my target speed is 4.02 so I mean like I said you're a little bit above 4 point gigahertz um, so that's basically how you do a basic overclock now I'm going to show you guys how to monitor monitor it so you want to open up core temp and right here it'll show you all the information that you need to know um, right here it says right now what your your um, readings are see so it says the max temperature is 80 degrees Celsius now still I wouldn't go and make your CPU um, run at 79 degrees 79 degrees Celsius try to keep it somewhere maybe around 50 or 60 like I, said, I didn't do that big of an overclock but that's because I didn't really want to I mean I could do a little higher but I mean let's say if I say if I wanted to go from 3.8 gigahertz to like 4.7 or 4.8 or something then this temperature obviously would rise up a lot more and right now it's at 33 degrees Celsius but if I'm playing like GTA and I got a stream going then it's gonna make my CPU work a lot harder and this temperature will shoot up so don't think that you just switch or you just change your um, CPU speed from 3.8 to 5.5 gigahertz and they're like oh it's only at 39 degrees Celsius it's not that big of a difference that's because you're not using it yet once you start multitasking and doing different things that CPU will start to get a lot hotter and that's why I said try to keep it somewhere around maybe 60 degrees that's my limit I really don't like to go beyond that um, for me some tips for me would uh, or some tips for me to you on how to keep it cooler is maybe open up your case let it air out if you do have it under your desk on the floor then probably put it on the desk like I have my computer right by my window and I open up my window at night because it's winter so usually at night it's real cold in my room so and I have it open and so when I do overclock my CPU and GPU, um, it doesn't really get too hot. It'll probably stay around about 45 to 55 degrees Celsius, somewhere within that range. But during the day, it might get up to like 60 degrees Celsius because I don't have my window open and stuff like that. So, um, and also, if th th only do those tips if you can't afford to buy like a like a different power supply and different um, fans and a cooling system. But um, if you do have money to spend on you know some fans and liquid cooling system then go for it obviously that's better than you know opening your case and opening your window and stuff like that but I said if you're just like you don't have the money or you're gonna put off on it for a little bit and you want to just overclock for now like these next few weeks until you get some money to buy an extra fan or something then go ahead and do those tips but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video please drop a like if you enjoy comment some feedback for your boy subscribe if you're new if you're new I'm gonna be doing more tutorials like this in the future as well as gaming videos on my channel so please drop a like please subscribe comment some feedback till then see you guys next time I'm out peace